Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So, I, I had some willow powder that I've been saving for a while, or willow charcoal. And I made 100 grams of black powder with it yesterday. And it has like a shiny, like crystallized look to it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. But it's got like a little bit of like a sparkle to it. And I ordered that from a fireworks company. Um, I don't have a whole lot left. I probably have like half a pound left, but this here is my uh, red cedar that I made with the pet bedding, which I have pounds of this stuff. But one thing I did want to talk about is the speed of this. So this is made yesterday and it is dried, but I think with time when it sits, it actually gets faster. And I will show you that because willow is obviously a faster black powder or charcoal. And I'm going to do a small burn test. It also comes down to granule size, but I always granulate it with the same exact screen, which I'm going to show you right now. Just get this out of the way so it doesn't burn, which is this guy right here. It's an eight mesh. So I granulate it always the same way. So this is the willow powder with only one day of drying. See how slow that was? And then here's the red cedar, which is my homemade one, which is with pet bedding. And this has been sitting for, I want to say a few weeks now. Let's see how fast that guy burns. You see how fast that was? So the, th the reason I think that some people's black powder doesn't burn that fast is because of the amount of time it takes to dry. These are both granulated one time. I don't granulate four or five times like some people do. Um, that's supposed to speed up the uh, speed of the powder, but I don't do that because it takes too long for one and I, I just don't do it. So, like I said, the same exact granule sizes, there's nothing different. I use the same screen, but I really wanna say the difference is because of the amount of time it takes to dry. So that's why I use these desiccant packs. This thing was in here. I've kept that in there for weeks um, and I want to say my black powder was burning like this one was when I first started it and now it burns like this. So I'm going to show you one more test so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Here we go. And this is the exact same willow that I used in this powder that I just showed you. And obviously you can see there, which I'm going to show you, it's a different size. So it's not the same as this screen because I didn't have it back then. But you can see there that it's a little bit smaller. Well, let's go ahead and do a burn test and let's see how fast that is. And you see how fast that is? With that, and that's the willow that I just used for this other slower one. So I really think that the speed, because I've had a couple people ask me why my black powder is slow. And they're using willow, they're using, you know, Poloania, whatever. They're using a really good brand of charcoal it's just it's not fast and i really want to say it's because of the dry time so if you allow your stuff to dry a little longer it'll i think it'll increase the speed because that's all i did i didn't do any extra granulations or anything special i'm using the exact same nitrate that i had the exact same sulfur i've had that sulfur for about two years i've had the potassium nitrate for the same thing about two years i ordered all of it at the same time i bought four pounds of the nitrate which came pre-milled I still ball mill it anyway. The sulfur came from the same place. The charcoal didn't because the charcoal came from a fireworks company that I found online. He sent me that a couple years ago. And then my red cedar, obviously I took the bed pet, uh, the pet bedding couple, what is it? Like maybe six months ago, I bought it, charcoaled it. I made it on my own fire. I made my own charcoal with it. And it seems to be burning really fast. As you can see, the willow is a little bit faster, but the red cedar is still doing really good. So like I said, if those of you having trouble with your black powder, um, I would suggest you let it dry a little longer. Um, keep it out, not necessarily out in the open, but I always put the desiccant pack in there because it removes moisture. If you leave it out in the open without a container, it's gonna absorb the moisture from the environment and then it's gonna probably stay slow. But I keep mine always covered in a lid in a cool dark place i don't keep it out in the sun i don't keep it anywhere hot and it seems to be performing well i have never had any issues with black powder and this is all 75 15 10 there's no special formulation it's just the standard black powder so 
hopefully this video helps some of you guys um, if you have any issues now with that first burn that you saw that is with one day of drying so if your powder is burning slower than that then you might want to start looking at your chemicals like where did you get your potassium nitrate and the sulfur and if your sulfur is not coming from a pyrotechnic store but let's say you're buying it from walmart or home depot or something if you guys have those stores out there and it could actually have a binder in it or something other than just 100 percent uh, sulfur it might be actually something like you would find in a garden section that actually may contain something else in there with the sulfur and it's slowing down your powder so that's another thing to look at is your your quality of chemicals but if you have all that knocked out and your black powder is still slow and it's already been drying for a few weeks then that, that's something else is going on there uh, i'll start looking at that make sure you do weigh out your stuff but i always use a scale 75 15 10 um, but anyways like i said hopefully this helps somebody out um, anyways um, stay tuned for some videos since the 4th of July is coming up I'm excited for that so hopefully uh, post some more videos and I'm gonna make a couple fireworks and a couple whistle things so just stay tuned for that but anyways I appreciate you all for watching and until the next video